Hey, this is Bethany, and today I'm going to be showing you my favorites for June and July. I didn't have a favorites for June because June I didn't try very much crap, so I thought I'd just combine the two, and here we will have some things I'm talking about that I do and don't like, so let's get started. My first favorite for this month, actually my little sister loaned it to me, gave it to me. She didn't really like it or feel like it did that much of a difference for her, but it did for me. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment for Super Sexy Radiant Skin. It smells so weird. Like, not in a way that really bothers me, but it's very, it's very, just got a very herbal, herbal outdoor smell. Um, so it doesn't smell at all how I thought it would, but you slick it on your face. It's kind of this grayish green color. And what I do with it, instead of like leave it on for 15 minutes at a time, is if I feel a spot developing or it's kind of like an itchy bump, or I just feel acne coming on or it's already there, um, or if it's coming to a head, um, I will, and it's usually over here that I have it, that's why I'm pointing here, I will slather it on that area a little bit, not slather too much, and I will sleep on it. I'll just leave it be, and then I'll wash it off in the morning, and that area will be improved. Uh, it won't be itchy. That If it's swollen, that area will go down. So I really do like using this. I know that this is like 60 or $70, something unbelievably crazy. So I don't know. I'd have to really consider whether I'd actually buy this outright. I wouldn't have used it unless my little sister was like, yeah, this looks cool. And then she's like, eh, I don't really see anything. And she didn't try it on overnight like I did, but that's how it benefited me. I would actually consider buying this again. I don't know, I'd have to weigh my options, see if I can find some sort of discount or deal somewhere with Sephora. Because I don't usually find masks that I actually like that I can leave on at nighttime and not worry about them. Some, when you do that, they'll actually break you out more. So this one, I really like. It's just expensive, so I don't know. The next thing I tried I didn't like, and I put it back in the container. This is the NYX Felt Tip Liner. Um, it is a felt tip, unlike the Physician's Formula liquid liner I really like, but they didn't have it there when I was trying to buy one. They didn't have my color, so I went ahead and bought this in black. It just sucks. You put it on, and it's like really sheer, and it's more difficult to maneuver than the Physician's Formula liquid liner serum pen or whatever. So I'm going to return this to Ulta. It was like $10. I've just been like biding my time to bring it back. So totally going to do that. Don't recommend this. The next thing is actually in my current foundation routine. It's the Pixi Flawless and Poreless Primer. Um, this goes on like a lotion, unlike Benefit Pore Professional, which I do like, where it's kind of hard to put Benefit Pore Professional on. If you get too much, it kind of does this thing where the, the product will fold over on itself and flake off your face while you're putting it on, which really annoys me. Um, whereas this just goes on like a lotion, no problems, and I do actually feel like it improves the texture of my skin. So I'm going to buy a full size of this once I run out, and this little bubby here has lasted me at least a month so far, so I really like it. This, along with the primer I just mentioned, was actually in a glam bag I received from Ipsy, and I have been using this occasionally when I run out the door and my hair is just kind of eh, needs some oomph. So I'll just like spritz it through a layer in my hair and just kind of mess it up a little bit. And it does give you like a nice hint of body and beachy hair. It's got an interesting smell. I really like it. And uh, that's just all I got to say about it. It's a nice, easy, quick fix to just hair that's a little bit dull and you want a little oomph. Not much oomph, but just a little. So I recommend it. The next thing I've been liking this month, or the last month, uh, but more this month, was the Maybelline Color Tattoo, the metal one, in the shade Gold Rush. This color looks really cool on the middle of the lid when you're doing kind of looks that incorporate gold, and it's got really neat iridescent kind of glitters in it, from what I can tell. It looks like one of the colors in the Glinda Oz palette. It's really beautiful and bold and bright, and I'm hoping to incorporate this eventually in a tutorial because I just think it's really pretty, and if you like gold eyeshadow, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. The next thing I've tried in the last couple months was actually this hydrating macadamia oil shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's supposed to have bamboo extract, 
sugarcane macadamia oil, of course, and it's by Organics, which my friend really loves this line, and I felt kind of hit, hit and miss about their shampoos and conditioners. But this stuff's not, it's actually not bad. Um, I do occasionally use my other deep conditioner as well, that is my favorite, the Matrix Biolage Hydrotherapy. But basically, when I use these two, I don't feel like my hair is drying out any more or less. It just keeps it kind of stable to what it's been, and it's a lot cheaper than the other stuff I've been using. I'm pretty sure I got both of these for like less than eight dollars because they were on sale at like CVS or something like that. So not bad. The next thing I tried was actually another primer. This is the Bare Minerals Five and One primer that came in our Ipsy Glam bag. I didn't like it. Um, when you use when you use it at the first point of the day, it actually does make your eyeshadows look nice and they go on really well. And it's supposed to have multiple benefits for your eyes, like a BB cream and whatnot, and it's supposed to be nurturing and blah blah blah. But I have a long work day and this does not last as long as my other primers. By the end of the day, I'll look in the mirror, I'll be like two hours from leaving, and I'll check out of the mirror and I'll be like, mm, I'm creasing. This looks nasty. So I only gave this about a week and I was like, nope, don't like it. So, unfortunately, this didn't work for me, maybe because I'm oily skinned. I don't know if you guys had any other experience with it, but it's the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Eye Primer, and it's dank. The next thing I feel like I could do a whole video talking about, but I just want to let you guys know about um, tea tree oil. Be sure to get some good tea tree oil, because my hair was having some dandruff a week or two ago. I got sunburned because I was outside and I got sunburned for 4th of July a little bit too. If you have dandruff and you just don't know what shampoo to use, add like a few drops to your handful of shampoo of tea tree oil. Add this in there and then work it through your hair and just massage your roots and that will help your dandruff. This is what I use whenever I get dandruff or flakes or sunburns that turn into dandruff. So I really recommend it. It's got a lot of other uses you too, like topical uses for your skin, only in small quantities, and you can use it on acne, things like that. I really haven't for a while. But I just thought I'd throw this out there. If you need to get you some tea tree oil, it's always just a good thing to have. And last but not least, my favorite um, soft matte lip cream by NYX for the month is the shade Sun Polo. I am not u wearing that. I'm actually wearing like Cat Fight by Urban Decay right now. But this is a really pretty pink. It's really beauty. It's a really blue hued pink. So it looks really nice on porcelain skin. Showed a picture of me wearing it on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. It's just really beautiful. And I always like to throw in a new soft matte lip cream that I like every month because I love and one last favorite I have for this month is actually this little guy we found outside underneath my work truck. He is a stray kitten, and when we found him like half a week ago, he was starving. And I brought him inside and he ate like he'd never eaten before. We gave him a flea bath, I gave him some medicine, and now he's just eating my hair. I decided to name him Lil Bub, like the Lil Bub cat on YouTube. Um, she has an overbite, and he's got a bit of an overbite too, and he, here he is eating my hair. But yeah, so this is little Bub. I may be finding him a home. We have a lot of cats as it is. Um, there's one that we're already rehoming, but out here in the country, you're bound to encounter some cats, and I couldn't just leave him, like, starving and bony out there. But I love him so much. Little Bub! Anyways, this has been my monthly favorites for June and July. Uh, I didn't try a ton of new stuff that wasn't sent to me in a glam bag because I'm trying not to waste a ton of money on new products. I end up regretting some things all the time and wishing I'd return them instantly and then I have all this product sitting there and it's just really annoying. So if you haven't subscribed to my Instagram or liked my Facebook yet, you may want to because I'm actually going to do a giveaway on either of those. I haven't decided which one yet, uh, but I have a, two little palettes hoarded that I was going to give away. So I hope you guys are having a great day and thank you very much for watching my video. I will talk to you later.